This will be the final video that I will be making on this topic for quite some time. I wasn't planning to make this video, but I have had a number of people associated with the church contacting me, and I felt that it was important to convey this message. So as many of you would know, I've done a few videos recently on my former church, on my experiences with the pastor there, and also with a video that was critiquing the seeker-friendly, non-gospel-centered preaching at the church. What I want to say is that these videos were very difficult for me to make. Uh, they were very draining for me. I didn't enjoy doing them. I didn't enjoy going back and listening to the sermons. And I didn't enjoy reliving some of the experiences. I'm glad they're done. And I'm glad that I can move on to other material now again. But I did feel that it was necessary to do this for a number of reasons. And I'll explain. First of all, I love and care for so many of the people in that church and I only have fond thoughts towards them and wish them well. My heart is very full towards them. Nothing that I've done is personal in any sense. It is completely biblical. And I know that some of the things that I've said are things that people in the church won't be happy with. It might not be popular amongst many people in the church, but I'm not here to be popular. I'm here to be biblical and I'm here to speak truth. And there are so many people that have either been in the church and left the church or some people that are still there that have struggled with the seeker-friendly preaching. It is damaging to one's faith. It is very dangerous. And I wanted to make a video that I wish I had had when I was in that place, coming to that place where I recognized that this, this isn't gospel-centered, this isn't biblical preaching, this is self-help, this is seeker-friendly, this is a psychology talk. I had previously spoken to the pastor when I was at the church a number of years ago and I've spoken about how I was received in that regard and I actually emailed the pastor before I uploaded the recent video critiquing the sermon actually offering uh, the opportunity for him to discuss it uh, sending him the video before I uploaded it so that if there was anything he wanted to say or anything that he disagreed with I was completely open to discussing it open to any correction, if I could be shown where I was wrong biblically, but I didn't hear back from him. And I wasn't surprised. I wasn't expecting to hear back from him because I know that the last thing that he would want is a theological discussion with me because he can't show me where I'm wrong biblically in those videos. On top of the preaching, sharing some of my experiences with the pastor, which involved unbiblical instruction of telling me that I wasn't allowed to pray or read the Bible with my closest friends, a handful of my closest friends in my house. Very important to communicate that because this is unbiblical. It is going outside of the authority of scripture that a pastor has. And in my opinion, it is a form of spiritual abuse. It is a form of spiritual manipulation, in my opinion. And no one should be subjected to that whatsoever. I know that there are people that have experienced this, something similar to this previously as well in this church and many other churches. And there may even be people that are experiencing this and people that just need to hear that it is not your fault. There are things that go on in churches which should not go on in churches. So... It's very important to communicate these truths. It's very important to be able to help other people that have either gone through this or are going through this. And these videos have been effective in doing that. I've had people reach out to me that have previously 
been in this church and have gone through the same things that I have and they say, Matthew, thank you for communicating this. Um, I've had people that have messaged me and have said, Matt, I struggled to articulate this, but when you were saying this, this was exactly what I was feeling. I've had people inside the church say to me, Matt, I agree with what you're saying. Um, I wish the preaching was more gospel-centered and wasn't seeker-friendly. Um, and who have been hesitant to post on my posts, which I understand and I would tell people not to post on my posts, even if they're supporting me. Um, but they want to remain in, in the community for, for whatever reasons. Um, and then there are people who, um, someone who messaged me who said that they were actually looking at attending this church and now they won't be attending it because of my video. There was someone else who's actually in the church who has said that this has been the final thing that has opened their eyes to what they were feeling inside and now they will be leaving the church. So my job is to speak truth and I don't want anyone to go into a church like this that they're going to experience this watered down preaching, they're going to um, maybe experience the type of what, what I believe was gaslighting and manipulation when asking questions about these things. There are people that are hungry for truth and they are starving and they need to hear these words. So that's why I've made these videos. As I said, I've reached out to the church to discuss it before posting it up. Um, I wanted to be fair in that regard and gracious. And I would also say to anyone too that if you have a problem with anything I've said in the videos, biblically, because that's the standard, biblically, if you think I've said anything that isn't correct biblically, I would be happy to hear from you. And, and if you can show me where I am in error biblically, because that's the standard, I would be happy to remove the videos as well, because all I care about is truth. But if you can't show me where I'm in error biblically, then that means that I'm correct biblically. And you shouldn't be upset that I'm posting content which is biblically accurate. If I've posted something biblically in error, that's one thing, and I will correct that. But if I have not done that, which I have not, then what I say is very important to communicate. And just because someone's feelings have been hurt, someone's upset, someone doesn't like that I've put out the video, you know what? Truth is offensive, and I've been as gracious as I can even right now in saying I will communicate biblical truth to you, talk over where you think I might be in error, but if I'm not in error, then what's your problem? What's your problem with the truth? So I want to leave it there, and I thank you for listening. It's been a very uh, difficult task and undertaking to go about all of this, uh, it's been a few years since the last series I've done on my previous church experiences and hopefully it will be some time before I speak about it again. But I'm grateful to be able to reach people and I will always align myself with the truth. And the one thought I want to leave you with is this. If you cannot find anything that I'm in error with biblically, then you shouldn't have a problem with what I'm saying. We should always value the truth of the Word of God above anything. And like I said, I'm happy if someone can even show me where I'm in error, I will remove those videos, no problems. Completely open to correction in that regard. But if you can't, just think to yourself, why can't you? And maybe what Matt has said is true, because it has resonated with a number of people as well. Thank you for listening, friends. Um, my intention is never to hurt anyone. But if in preaching the truth, people are hurt, um, that's an unfortunate reality. God bless you, friends. Leave your comments below. Talk to you soon.